Hi guys, so we're going to be doing a quick vegan skincare makeup haul. Um, and I'll be doing a tutorial on how I do my makeup in both my skincare. So first things first, is I'm going to start off with two makeup and skincare products. I'm going to go back and forth between the two. So let's get started. So for skincare, I use this toner. When I do my full spa treatment, using my face steamer, or when I'm just doing a full face clean, this toner is amazing. I bought it off of um, what's the website called? Um, let me see. Thrive Market. I bought this off of Thrive Market. And it's amazing. It's a beauty, quality, empowering thing. It's based out of Toga. It used both coconut oil and neem. Neem is similar. It's a leaf that they crush up and make into oil. So it has neem and coconut water in it. Um, and it all part of the proceeds go back to Toga in West Africa. And it helps. They've been doing this since 2016. Or 2006, sorry. And they fund it. 8,000 bikes, they've built 3,000 school benches, funded 5,000 births, they planted 60,000 trees and donated 24,927 pairs of glasses, and they've built 10 schools. And that's all on the back of the bottle, and it kind of tells your story about the brand, so I love this. Um, for my face, when I'm washing it, I use rose water foam, and I also use Dark Angel from Lush. I love this stuff. It's so good. It smells delicious, and it just gets in there. This I use after, um, and I love it. It smells so good, and it's so gentle on your skin. And to remove my makeup, I use, of course... Witch Hazel um, with a combination of olive oil and this smells delicious. This is actually cucumber based and you just drip, take some of this and mix it with olive oil and get all your makeup off. So it's a quick way to, you know, make your own makeup remover using what you have in your house. And for oils, I use, of course, the famous for Sally. I have almost all of them. I'm waiting for their glass, their newest one to come out, but I use these, so everybody knows the rose gold one. The Unicorn Tears I use as for skincare, and I also use it um, as a base for my makeup. And then I also use their Volcano Elixir sometimes um, for after skincare. Um, so that is that for most of my skincare. Um, yeah, so let's move on to the makeup. So I just um, bought the crayon case, their chalk dust setting powder, and their highlighter powder powder powder. So these are these are this is a vegan brand. Um, they don't test on animals, and they are one hundred percent vegan. So yeah, this is a C setting powder, and this is the clone. And I actually swatched, I'm going to swatch some of this for you guys so you can see what it looks like. Because it is super pigmented. What is this? It's like glitter. And I'm just going to swatch it. Look at how pigmented that is, guys. See that? So, I'm excited to try this. I don't know what I'm going to use it on, but I'm going to keep hold on to it. Um, for foundation, some, I have two. This is my most recent one. I have the Fenty Beauty. Their foundation is vegan. Um, and not all of their products are vegan, though, but their foundation is. Um, and if you look at the ingredients on there, it does not contain any um, of the two chemicals they use for animal products. Um, so, yeah, Fenty Beauty's foundation. Um, and then I also have... The BH Cosmetics created a vegan line, so they have blushes, and they have lips, and they have brushes. They have a whole bunch of stuff, so I got their nude blush palette. I haven't used it yet. I'm not a huge makeup person, so this is their blush palette I got. It's really pretty. 
Um, yet again, I haven't used it. And I swatched the ultimate lip color thing I got in all these shades. I'm not a huge lip person, but I'm excited to try it. So, yeah. Then I also have like this massive case I bought for them. And I put all of the brushes that I had from them in there. Let me see if I can turn it around. Okay. These are all the brushes I got. And this set I bought um, a while ago. They're all synthetic. Um, none of them were tested on animals. It's a pretty cool case. I bought the case separate. But yeah. So yeah, we get this pretty cool case. Okay. And then... Um, what else do I have in here? I think, that, I think that's it for me. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for the most part. Because my new, like, yeah, I have this little, um, for Sally thing I put in my carry-on. Oh, and they're for Sally, um, their highlighter, their jelly bean, Illuminate. We're going to try this out because I haven't tried it, but I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen it before. So, I got the, this is rose gold, right? Yeah, I got the rose gold, so I'm just going to, they say a little goes a long way, and I'm just going to swatch this for you guys. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm excited. So, a little definitely does go a long way way with this product look at that and you're supposed to just and it does it doesn't dry super quick but kind of does so yeah and that's it all smooth out let's blend look at this one when you blend it out that kind of turns to nothing so it's the product is all on my finger like all of it. I don't know how I feel about that. But whatever. So yeah, so for Sally there's Fenty, BH Cosmetics, and um the color the crayon case. So for Sally has um vegan products. The crayon box, their whole brand is vegan. And then Sal oh, Fenty has um, vegan products as well, and BH Cosmetics has a whole line of just, you see this? A whole line of just vegan stuff. So, I hope this video helps. I am probably going to apply some makeup. I've never done my makeup in the camera before, but it doesn't hurt to try. I mean, to it'll be weird, kind of. But I will be doing a makeup tutorial um, or a skincare tutorial. Maybe I'll do that first. That one will be easier because um, I like doing skincare. So I'll see you guys back. I'll have a facial. I don't have any mascara in here. Um, this is my first highlighter I ever bought myself. It was a store. It wasn't, this isn't vegan now. Um, but yeah, I have a bunch of brushes. This is my vegan brush. This is not real hair. It's a synthetic. And I love it. It's a BH Cosmetics brush. It's a, it's a highlight. Well, I hope this video helps. Please make sure to like and subscribe and leave any comments down below. And what you'd like to see next. My next video will be skincare. So it'll have the same exact girly background. This fabric is actually my own. So if you'd like to order some fabric, let me know. And yeah, I just set up, you know, the basic YouTube, you know, girly background for makeup tutorials. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Okay, so this is just an overview of what I talked about and what I just showed you. So all of First Sally stuff is 100% vegan and cruel free. Um, now we're going to look at the Fenty list of makeups that are vegan. Um, and this is just a vlog I found. So not all of their products are, but the 40 shades of their foundation is. Their matte sticks are. 
their blotting powder and their luminizing lipstick, their brushes and stuff are. Um, so yeah, these are the Fenty um, vegan products. And I think that's pretty cool to like have a list. You can still use their foundation um, and stuff. Then there's the BH, the BH Cosmetics has a vegan um, section on their website as well. They're not fully vegan brand, but they do offer vegan options um, for those that like to use their products. They're inexpensive um, and they have a ton of vegan brushes. Um, so yeah, this is their whole set of um, vegan brushes and they're pretty inexpensive so I'm just going to show you guys some of their other vegan products so they have the blush I was just telling you, I just showed you guys the blush palette um, and if you go down you see all these colors they're so beautiful and it's only six dollars and sixty cents right now um, but yeah if you scroll all the way down and over you'll see it says bold pays off vegan um gluten free cruel free um so yeah that is their blush palette i own um and then the other palette i purchased i think it's further back let's see if i can find it All right so the other palette is this one i bought the other color i think it's sold out but this is the other color of it, um, and this is their lip palette, and it's high pigmented and all that other stuff. Um, it's pretty cool. I think this is, yeah, so BH Cosmetics has a nice variety of um, vegan products as well. Um, and then we're going to go on to the crayon case. And the crayon case... This is the chalk dust I just showed you guys. This is right over their website. Everything will be in the link on the description bar below. But again, this product is vegan and cruel free. Um, and that's basically it. Thanks for watching, guys, and please make sure to subscribe.